Good morning. On behalf of Pampa Independent School District, our Board of Trustees and our Superintendent, Dr. Tanya Larkin, I'd like to welcome you to the Pampa High School commencement for the class of 2020. My name is Hugh Pyatt and it is my honor and privilege to serve as the principal of this outstanding school. Our ceremony this year will be remembered for being unlike any before. So the class of 2020 will always be unique. This is truly a day to celebrate not only the graduates, but each person who played a role in their success. I thank each parent, guardian, grandparent, friend, teacher, and community member for their support of these graduates. Graduates, if you're thankful for your family and friends or anyone else who provided support for you to get to this moment, let's give out a little honk of your horn as we drive through the parade. At this time, I would like to thank some important people in our wonderful school district for their dedication and support. They do not often get the praise they, des they deserve for the innumerable decisions that they have to make each day, especially during these unprecedented times. But I am very thankful for our superintendent, Dr. Tanya Larkin, our associate superintendent, Dr. Nathan Maxwell, the members of our board of trustees, president, Mr. Richard Qualls, our Vice President, Mr. Matt Brock, our Secretary, Kay Warner, and members, Mr. Lance DeFever, Dr. David Godino, Mrs. Denise Entman, and Mr. Louis Nava. Also, a special thank you goes out to our announcer, Mr. Michael Cole, our PLC Director, Mrs. Carrie Williams, and to Dr. Mike Davis, Dean of Career, Technical, and Continuing Education, Clarendon College, Pampa Center. Now you will hear from Haley West, Pampa High School student body president, lead us in our Pledge of Allegiance and invocation. Good morning, I'm Haley West. Would you please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Now please join me for the invocation. Dear God, I want to thank you for each senior and for allowing us to participate in this celebration despite the odds that our world is currently facing. I pray for you to heal those dealing with sickness and fear during this time. The world we are headed into can be challenging, so please give us the courage and faith to face difficulties head on, and let us trust that you will be beside us along the way. We remember all of the special memories of families and friends throughout our school years, and I thank you for these blessings. Please lift up our teachers, administration, and staff members that taught us many valuable lessons and bless their lives and homes. Thank you for the accomplishments of each graduate and bless their lives with a bright future. Please give us your wisdom to make decisions and let us always keep our eyes on you. Thank you for sending your son, Jesus, to die on the cross for our sins. I pray all these things in your name. Amen. Thank you, Haley. At this time, the Pampa High School Brass Quintet will perform Die Banker Sanger Leader by King. <laughs>
Excellent job, man. Now, we're pleased to hear a tribute to the class of 2020, Have It All, by Emerson, performed by our amazing Pampa High School Show Choir. May you have auspiciousness and causes of success. May you have the confidence to always do your best. May it take no effort in you being generous. Sharing what you can, nothing more, nothing less. May you know the meaning of the word happiness. May you always lead from the beating in your chest. May you be treated like an esteemed guest. May you get to rest, may you catch your breath. And may the best of your todays be the worst of your tomorrows. The road less paved be the road that you follow. Well, here's to the hearts that you're gonna break. Here's to the lives that you're gonna change. Here's to the infinite possible ways to love you. I want you to have it. Here's to the good times we're gonna have. You don't need money, you got free pass. Here's to the fact that I'd be sad without you. I want you. As fascinating as a slap bracelet May you keep the chaos and the clutter off your desk May you have unquestionable health and less stress Having no possessions or immeasurable wealth May you get a good star on your next test May your educated guesses always be correct May you get prizes shining like diamonds May you really own each moment to the next And may the best of your todays be the worst of your tomorrows the road less paved be the road that you follow. Well, here's to the hearts that you're gonna break. Here's to the lives that you're gonna change. Here's to the infinite possible ways to love you. I want you to have it. Here's to the good times we're gonna have. You don't need money, you got free pass. Here's to the fact that I'd be sad without you. I want you to have No matter what the path is, if you believe it, then anything can happen. Go, 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 raise your glasses. Go, 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 you can have it all. I toast you. Here's to the hearts that you're gonna break. Here's to the lies that you're gonna change. Here's to the infinite possible ways to love you. I want you to have it. Here's to the good times we're gonna you don't need money, you got free pass. Here's to the fact that I'd be sad without you. I want you to have it all. Oh, I want you to have it all. I want you to have it. I want you to have it all. I want you to have it all. Oh, I want you to have it all. I want you to have it. have it all. Excellent job, guys. Thank you. Congratulations to Sidney Goodson for being the salutatorian for the class of 2020. She'll come now for her encouraging words. Afternoon and evening to those of you who choose to listen to the speech outside of the time that I'm delivering it. The speech took a little while for me to pick up, not because my senioritis had gotten way out of hand, but because I didn't know how to put what I'd envisioned into words. While searching for advice to start writing, the question I got most was, well, are you going to miss high school? Can I answer that with a yes and a no? Because no, I'm not going to miss the one entrance high school that had all of us scrambling to class. No, I'm not going to miss that teacher that was so ridiculously smart they couldn't teach the rest of us. No. I'm not going to miss the endless stress that making good grades brought, 
only for the make good grades and school will pay you to go phrase to be a lie. But that doesn't mean that I won't miss a, totally, a lot of totally great things that happened, like meeting Jacob freshman year. Making Allstate senior year. Piling six people into JC's bug for lunch or being a 10 minute drive from everyone I've ever known and loved. Then of course, I wanted to make my time to shine fun and nothing like the speech that made 12 year old Sydney fall asleep in the stands. Thoughts started running through my brain in 100 miles a minute. Should I reminisce on my own memories or sound like spending four hours on a hot bus eight minutes away from the hotel in Austin, Texas? Or should I start remembering the memories that we got rushed on the Dalhart stage for basketball? Talk about how they tell us the high school goes by in a blur and you don't realize what you've got until it's gone. Honestly, at the beginning of this year, time checks slower than I've ever witnessed it before. We couldn't wait to get out of here and do 18th birthday shenanigans, have prom suits and dresses, go to prom after parties, <laughs> and go to IHOP at midnight. We even tried to start Jensen's countdown in the middle of the first semester. But I think now all the seniors wish that our last day of school wasn't Friday, March 13th. The last thing that I wanted to say in my speech was to my younger classmates. Hold your friends close and your family closer. Take pictures even if they're dumb. Enjoy all of your lasts, every single one of them. This might be the last time that you're celebrated with this much enthusiasm. Take it and run with it. I'm just really proud that I was picked to speak for our class, the 2020 Pampa High School class. To end my time with everyone today, I just want to thank all of my people. You know who you are. You helped me get here today. Wonderful job, Sydney. Thank you. And now, please welcome to the stage, valedictorian of the senior class of 2020, Avery Sprinkle. Or whenever you happen to be listening to or watching this. My name is Avery Sprinkle, and I am this year's Pampa High School valedictorian. As most of you know, I have been striving to earn this title all throughout high school. And as many of my teachers can attest to, I have been told several times that having this title is not going to matter any later on in life. But for me, standing before you, my fellow graduates, along with our family members and whoever else may be watching, it is an honor to get to encourage you as we all step into the next chapter of our lives. Parents, guardians, teachers, administrators, and staff, I would like to believe that the class of 2020 has had a positive effect on you and that you'll miss us. I could stand here and talk about our current situation and why we are not partaking in a traditional graduation, but I think we are all tired of hearing the words virus, social distancing, new cases, and so many more that remind us of what has been taken away. But as I was looking for inspiration for what to say during this speech, I realized just how much of what I, was, what I have learned through this situation goes hand in hand with what we have also learned during the past four years with each other. And as I reflect on this unexpected time, I am reminded that we have learned to appreciate the everyday interactions we had with each other. We have taught each other valuable life lessons through everything we have been involved in, who we have been friends with, and the trouble we have gotten into. You know who you are. We have started new friendships, lost ones we never thought would end, and nurtured some back to life. Whichever category your most appreciated memories fall into, I hope you will remember them. I hope you will cherish your time that you spent at Pampa High School, all of the exciting times you experienced, and all of the people who helped you get to where you are today. Regardless of whether we want to believe this fact or not, every moment and person leading up to this very instant has shaped who we are as people, friends, children, students, leaders, and so much more. Throughout these past four years, we have all chosen something different to center our lives around. For some, that is sports or relationships. Others, it has been academics or fine arts. And for most of us, I am sure we would have rather focused on taking as many naps as possible or wasting gas driving around town with our music all too loud because that is the most interesting legal activity we have discovered in this small, beautiful town. All the bus rides, hotel stays, competitions, practices, games, and performances for extracurricular activities will forever hold a special place in our hearts. And I'm sure we can all think of a favorite memory from the various trips we have taken and events we have participated in. Maybe that memory is when you won a district title, went far in playoffs, hurt yourself doing something unintelligent, or playing a prank on a coach or teacher, like when Mr. Easley's room was covered in our faces, and yes, some are still today there today, 
or maybe your name is just Maggie. Now that I have reminisced on the past a little bit and the memories I hope each of us will cling to, I'd like to give you some words of encouragement. We have seen that the future is not always going to pan out in the way that we had planned, and I am certain that many of us are anxious about stepping into a world even more rapidly than it typically does. I want to let you know that it is okay to be afraid of an uncertain future. However, in all that you do, please do not let that fear stop you from chasing your dreams. About a month ago, I was reading an article that said, you cannot conquer the land if you do not have enough courage to go into the land. So take that leap of faith and believe in yourself. We cannot spend time worrying about what will happen if we aren't going to even attempt to see what the outcome is. And as a wise superintendent once told me, get comfortable with being uncomfortable. We were never promised by anyone that this life was going to be easy, but with enough tenacity, faith, and support, we can do anything that we set our mind to. My prayer for each of my classmates today is that you would never stop growing, always find people who will encourage you and go into the uncomfortable land with you, learn to see other people's perspectives, and stay kind. Thank you, Pampa High School Class of 2020 graduates, for making these past four years the best ones yet. I love you, I will miss you, and I wish you all the best of luck. I am confident that we will all go on to do great things. We did it. Excellent job, Avery. At this time, I would like to welcome Dr. Mike Davis to present recognition from Clarendon College to Ariana Aguiano and Taylor Jeffries for their accomplishment of earning their associate's degree from Clarendon College while still in high school. Hello, I'm Dr. Michael Davis, Dean of Clarendon College Pampa Center. I grew up in Pampa and I am Pampa proud of our shared harvester heritage. For over 40 years, Pampa High and Clarendon College have worked together to provide high quality education to meet Pampa's needs. This year, I'm honored to recognize Clarendon College graduates, Ariana Aguiano and Taylor Jeffries for completing their degrees before graduating high school. Like all of you, their hard work gives them a solid start toward great things. We are proud of each and every one of you. Congratulations, Pampa High, Class of 2020. Thank you, Dr. Davis. The 2020 Class of Pampa High School is a very special group and one that I will remember more for what they accomplished rather than what they lost out on. You struggle through a pandemic this spring, lost out on opportunities in academics, athletics, band, choir, and other competitions. You were not able to celebrate accomplishments in ceremonies and banquets. The spring of your senior year was definitely not what any of us would have imagined. However, what I'll remember about this group is how much you care about each other and the positive impact you've had not only on our school, but our community. You're competitive, as witnessed by your many honors and awards earned throughout high school. You leave Pampa High with district, area, regional, and even state championships. You've learned to set goals, and were willing to work hard to accomplish them, as proven by the many gold ball, balls, championship trophies, and scholarships won this year alone. This class walks away with over $500,000 in scholarships. We have all district all area, all region, and all state scholars, performers, and athletes in this class. You are truly a very special class and one that gives me a very bright ray of hope and encouragement for our country's future. Graduates, with all the success you have experienced during your time at Pampa High School and as a harvester, remember that your memories of these glorious events will last a long time, but do not let these be the best of times. Most of us who have a few miles on our souls can attest to the fact that very few high school feats are celebrated outside of high school. It's what you do with your life from this day forth that will matter. If high school was a struggle for you, I say good. Now use the lessons learned from the struggle to inspire you to work harder, gain more knowledge, set higher goals, and reach your full potential. Do not blame others or ever fall for the lies that often come out of fear, like you're not good enough, smart enough, or strong enough to accomplish your goals and see your dreams fulfilled. Do not 
yourself short. Ralph Waldo Emerson said, Our greatest glory is not in never failing, but in rising up every time we fail. If you do not have a plan for what happens after graduation today, then sit down and make one. Determine who you want to be and what you want to be known for, and then figure out how to make that happen. If you already have a plan, great. Now go forth and conquer. Do not let the pitfalls of life stop you from achieving your goals. You're intelligent, you have talents, and you were chosen and created to do great things. You're going to need other people along your path. Look for those who build you up and make you a better person. Be the person who lifts others up and is willing to serve rather than having to be served. The old saying, it is better to give than, than receive, holds true. When we give of ourselves to others and find ways to encourage those around us, we become happier. I often have the chance to visit with young people, and oftentimes they're hurting in some way. I usually ask them the question, when's the last time you did something nice for someone else? Giving of ourselves changes our perception and can take a negative situation and make the outlook brighter. Hang on to those who are close to you. Be forgiving and thankful for what you have. No one is promised tomorrow, so make the most of each day. We are blessed to live in this great country where you have the potential to do anything you believe you can. If you believe it and are willing to work hard for it and not quit when the going gets tough, the sky is the limit. Nothing is impossible if you only believe. Do not let others tell you what you can and cannot accomplish. If you have a dream and believe and are willing to work hard doing what others are unwilling to do, then you can achieve amazing things. The life before you will be just what you make of it. It's a journey with peaks and valleys, and you're going to learn a lot of things from both. We are so fortunate to live in a country that d does not restrict what we can become. With the education you now possess, the door is open to wherever you want to go. Use your talents for good. Strive to be a man or woman of character. Doing the right thing because it's the right thing to do, not because you get something out of it. Do not be judgmental. We all have faults, and yours are not better or worse than, than your neighbors. Give respect, even when it's not given to you, and be willing to work. Life's not always going to be smooth, and hard times are guaranteed to come, but you can overcome difficult times with the help of a strong faith, family, and friends. C.S. Lewis said, There are far, far better things ahead than what we leave behind. I cannot wait to see all the great things that will be accomplished by this most resilient harvester class of 2020. Thank you for the memories. It is now time for Mr. Cole to announce the Pampa High School class of 2020. Please take a moment to look at your program if you're not driving. You will find the special distinctions for superintendent scholars, top 10%, National Honor Society, and College Hour designations. When you hear your name, feel free to celebrate in your vehicle with loud outbursts, air horns, or honking. At this time, Mr. Cole. Congratulations to the Pampa High School graduating class of 2020. Valedictorian. Avery Marie Sprinkle. Sydney Alexis Goodson. Rebecca Ashley Andrews. Autumn Ray Hill Kayla Marie Mons
Taylor, Paige Jeffries. Brock Adam Ferguson. Julia Marie Allen. Joshua Ryan Price. Haley Nicole West. And Leah Noel, Faith Anderson. Cooper Ray Trollinger. Jacob Daniel Baker. Mackenzie Danielle Rivera. Cambry, Kean Smith, Addison Ann Smith, Story Grace Stribling. Riley, Marissa, Ellif. Andrew, Jefferson, Stevens. Jasmine, Danielle, Bolch. Jolaine Ruby Machado. Shiley Nicole Schloop. Caden Graham Burgess. Garrett Lynn Anderson. Ariana Daniel Anguiano. Anthony James Atchley. Anthony Jackis Ortega Jeremiah Hernandez Avila Josue Ayala Gallardo Brian Bedoya. Madison Lynn Bean. Matthew Daniel Blanco. Kenneth Dylan Booth.
Evan Gray Boyd. Tucker Dale Ridwell. Hunter Dylan Brown. Chloe Ann Bullock. Jaden Angel Burnley. Brianna Diane Burton. Caleb Cordell Caldwell. Mariah Renee Campos. Alan Carrasco Alvarado. Maria Carillo Ramirez. The Light Castorena. Sara Ceriani. Carla Nicole Chilton. Avery James Cochran. Tavarius James Conley. Destiny Cheyenne Cook. Christian Copalo. Audrey Elizabeth Cotton. Stason Brimer Cox. Jasmine Ann Kreit. Jordan McKenna Lee Kerfman. Zachary Lane David. Chandler Lewis Davis. Daniel Nicole De Leon. Dominic Andrew Dickinson. Xavion Demarie Donahue.
Alma, Lisbeth, Elizondo Ríos. Kendall Ann Elliott. Jocelyn Estrada Aguilera. Francisco Estrada. McKenna Renee Etheridge. Andrea Euyoki. Martha Isabel Garcia. Odalis Serenity Garcia. Samuel Giovanni Garcia. Damiana Monet Garza. India Ari Shailen Gatson. Jaren. Chad Giles. Jasmine Nicole Gleason. Carlos Gonzalez. Mercedes Andrea González. Riley Sky Greenwell. Kirthi Gumidipundi. Allison Dale Gutierrez. Cameron Dwayne Hare. Haley Austin Hancock. Taylor, Emily Hanks. Zachary Harlan DuBose. Kenneth Wayne Harrison II. Gabriel Ryan Haskell. Tony Robert Helfer. Alejandra Hernandez. Emmanuel Hernandez Zavala. Maggie Elizabeth Hernandez. Yair Guadalupe Hernandez.
Devin Ray Hieronymus. Ashlyn Ray Hill. Joy Raymond Hill. Daryl Craig Horton. Ashna Elizabeth Marie Hughes. Marco Jimenez Vasquez. DeAndre Mikhail Johnson. William Allen Carson. Kendall Page Knapp. Chase Taylor Landers. Angelica Ledesma. Tyler Quinn Leos Caden Sean Light Craig Calvin Light Michael Isaiah Velasquez. Destiny Hope Loner. Sierra Elizabeth Long. Trey. Mason Long Adamari Lopez Victoria Liliana Lopez Sergio Orlando Machado Cash, Otto, Manhart. Johan, Marufo, Alarcón. Alexa Martinez. Angelina. Amor Martinez. Mariela Martinez Don Diego. Ryan Wendell Mayberry. Catherine Naomi McLean. Kira Lynn McClellan Christy Morgan McCormick James Frederick Winsel Kylie Lynn McMurrian. Hannah McPherson.
Guillermo Mier. Katia Arlet Millán. Kenia Mireles. José Morales Flores. Nathaniel Morales. Olivia Elizabeth Moreno. Kenna Ann Morgan. Ashlyn Nicole Mullinax. Kate Munoz. David Gail O'Brien Cameron Wade O'Dell Ruben Olvera Fabian Alexis Orantia Kelly Ann Osborne Georgie Sue Osborne Serena K. Palacios Carl Cameron Parks Ariana Diart Perez Fernando Perez Diana Tion Perry Jet Ethan Michael Pettit Drayton Joe Pittman Nailea Adamaris Ponce Christian Dean Porter Axel Gayo Ramirez Vasquez Ashley Ramirez Shelby Keith Reeves Alexandra Valeria Resendez Luz Elena Reciende Ponce
Andrea Bretana Monforte. Luis Ricardo Armendaris. Caleb Isaac Rich. Lane Michael Richards. Exchange student from Germany, Yannick Richter. Caitlin Brienne Roberson. Zach James Robinson. Liliana Rodriguez Landeros. Leslie Guadalupe Ruiz. Ethan John Rushing. Carlos Andres Salas. Kevin Sanchez. Ezekiel Xavier Scoggins. Abstinence Grace Scott. Preston Lee Sellers. Daniela Servin. Wendy Servin. Jaden Gage Shook. Ashlyn Taylor Shorter. Elias Sebastian Silva. Georgina Nicole Silva. Oscar Silva. Kaylee Raylian Simpson. Jaren Wilson Slagle. Gabriel Adam Slater. Jacqueline Jade Solis. Sylvester Garcia Solorio. Cameron Elijah Soto. Shailena Jean Spiri. Kellen K. Stokes.
Justin Ryan Strickland. Zane Garrett Sutherland. Eliasar Tinejero. Michael Isaiah Tollerson. Jorge Luis Torre Romero. Julian Andre Velasquez. Caitlin Michelle Vick. Sara Dialon Ranged. Adrian Vialpando Valenzuela. Anthony Isaiah Viramontes. Che Glenn Ward. Riley Nicole Waters. Shelby Cheyenne Watson. Alexander Michael Welch. James Michael Wilhelm. Darius Deshaun Williams. Desiree Janae Williams. Logan Scott Wood. Destiny Leanne Woods. Cooper Maitland Young. Amber Renee Zamora. Mary Joanne Zamora. Dr. Larkin and members of the board, it is my pleasure as the principal of Pampa High School to present to you for graduation, the class of 2020. I verify that each student has met the graduation requirements of the Pampa Independent School District, and I recommend that you now confer their diplomas upon them. Thank you, Mr. Pyatt. By the virtue of the authority vested in me by the State Board of Education, the Texas Education Agency, and on behalf of the Pampa Independent School District Board of Trustees, it is my honor to confer upon you your high school diploma with all the endorsements and honors as listed in the program. You may now move your tassels to the left. And may I be the first to present to Pampa, the graduated class of 2020. Congratulations, well done. Seniors only, please stand by your vehicle as our senior cheerleaders lead us in the school song and remain standing as Ali Gutierrez, student body vice president brings us the benediction. At the close of the prayer, please remain in place.
Hello, everyone. Let us bow our heads. Good and loving God, we thank you for the completion of another year and for giving us the opportunity. Short though it may have been, we ask for your almighty hand to be upon these graduates as we move forward. May God, who began this work in you, carry it through to completion, enabling you to use your talents to the fullest. May God give you the grace to make wise choices and to be faithful to your commitments and always confident in the support of those who love you. With our class and grading now complete, may we strive towards excellence in all that we do. May we find bliss in our future endeavors and adventures. With advanced degrees and credentials in hand, may our achievements grow and enrich in our communities. May, our discover, may we discover holiness in the midst of life's blessings as well as life challenges. As our careers commence, may we conduct our life's work with ex exceptional skill and integrity, inspired to go forth and set the world on fire from this day onward. In your name we pray, amen. Congratulations, class of 2020. On the count of three, you may throw the cap you were given prior to the parade, but do not retrieve the cap. One, two, three. Congratulations, and I hope to see you again on June 27th back here at Harvester Field. Thank you for coming. Have a great summer, and please leave slowly and carefully.